You always tend to hear about these crazy hypotheticals along the lines of what if Earth was donut shaped or what if the sun was 20 times bigger? But what if there truly is an exoplanet holding rings 200 times greater than that of Saturn's beloved rings that we know so well? This immensely scaled ring, also known as J140747, J1407b, and Mamajek's object. Similar to the Sun in the constellation Centaurus at a distance of about 434 light years from Earth. This so called Super Saturn is a relatively young star, and its age is estimated to be 16 million years old, and its mass is about 90% that of the Sun. The star has an apparent magnitude of 12.3, and the discovery of the J1407 system and its unusual eclipses were first reported by a team led by University of Rochester astronomer Eric Mamajnik in 2012, which is where it gets its name. Saturn's rings have a diameter of 270,000 kilometers, and yet their thickness does not exceed 100 meters and their total mass is only about 0.41 times of the mass of Saturn's moon Mimas. This, in comparison to J1407b, is approximated to be 200 times less of that than this exoplanet ring's diameter. Fun fact, Mimas is famously known as the Death Star Moon. I think we can all tell why. Although its thickness cannot be deducted with such minimal information, it can be assumed that its thickness varies a substantial amount due to its seemingly young age. The existence and parameters of the ring system around the substellar companion of J1407b were deducted from the observation of a very long and complex eclipse of the parent star lasting 56 days during April and May 2007. J1407b has also been referred to as Saturn on steroids due to its sheer substantiality of its phenomenal and almost unreal circumplanetary rings, with a radius of approximately 90 million kilometers. The orbital period of this exoplanet is estimated to be around a decade, and its most probable mass is approximately 13 to 26 Jupiter masses, but with considerable uncertainty. The ring body can very confidently be ruled out as being a star with a mass of over 80 Jupiter masses. The ring system has an estimated mass similar to that of Earth. Now there is a major gap in the rings, estimated to be 61 million kilometers from its center, and is considered to be indirect evidence of the existence of an exomoon with a mass of up to 0.8 Earth masses. You, among many others, did too wonder, how does it keep its rings without being torn apart or by a meteor or its own sun? Well, scientists ran many computer simulations to model various ways in which the rings of this Super Saturn might go around staying. Now, there are two ways for it to go. Prograde, the same direction as the planet's rotation, or the opposite direction, retrograde. As you can see, in the case of the retrograde rotation, the rings were intact. This is because having a retrograde rotation means that the particles of the ring system are never too close to the star for too long, and thus can stay together. The unknown is, how does a ring system come to form a retrograde rotation like this? That is still in great question. Here I've attempted to build a simulation of what this would really look like, Direct quotes spoken from the astronomer and exoplanet researchers involved in the discovery of J1407b, Matthew Kenworthy, said, The details that we see in the light curve are incredible. The eclipse lasted for several weeks, but you see rapid changes on timescales as a result of fine structures in the rings. The star is much too far away to observe the rings directly, but we could make a detailed model based on the rapid brightness and variations in the starlight passing through the ring system. If we could replace Saturn's rings with the rings around J1407b, they would be easily visible at night and be many, many times larger than the full moon. In a third more recent study, also led by Kenworthy, adaptive optics and Doppler spectroscopy were used to estimate the mass of the ringed object. Their conclusions based on these and previous papers on the intriguing system J1407 
is that the companion is likely to be a giant planet. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the first video like this that I've ever made, so I'm terribly sorry if I've gone through things too quickly, or too slowly, or described way too little. And again, thank you for watching.